Hey friends, welcome to my channel and this is second video in Mastering Hyper-V Windows Server Part 2. And in this video, I'm going to focus on discussing about the lab setup which we are going to uh, follow uh, in this uh, complete playlist. So uh, definitely you need few things to set up your lab. You need a physical machines, you need uh, uh, your hypervisor or software like uh, in this video we are going to use a VMware workstation 17 and then you need few operating system iso image like windows server 2019 or 2022 uh, whatever operating system you are going to use so we are going to see what is the lab setup which is on my environment and maybe similar kind of environment you can set up for you yourself so you can follow the lab uh, as per your you know uh, as per video series so you can do the hands-on practice also on the same infrastructure. So, if you see, this is the hardware and software requirement, or maybe infrastructure which which I have on my my infrastructure where I'm going to uh, do this uh, training for you guys. So, I got one physical machine. This is kind of appreciation machine. So, in this machine, I got a Intel uh, processor which is i7. Uh, seven uh, seven eight hundred uh, X series. This is seems a series processor, and this is three point five gigahertz. But if you see here, uh, I have enabled what you call uh, <clears throat> uh, hyper threading on this machine. So and uh, uh, basically overclocking. So it, it can go up to four gigahertz. Also, you can see here it's currently here. You can see it's running on three point five zero, but uh, on a CPU, you can see it's showing 3.981. So if you, if you have a machine which can do a hyper uh, overclocking or hyperclocking, you, you, I recommend you go ahead and enable it so you will get some extra performance whenever is required by the, you know, your virtual machine and hyper uh, hyper V infrastructure. So uh, sometime uh, doing the nested virtualization require a uh, extra compute power. So if you have a hyper uh, overclocking, go ahead and enable it. And then uh, there is a requirement memory. So in my my machine, I got 128 gig of memory, uh, uh, which is uh, you know uh, eight. Uh, I have populated total eight gig uh, eight uh, slot in my motherboard. Uh, so total 16 gig, gig of eight memory, which uh, which uh, goes up to 128 gig memory. So this is more than enough for me but if you have a laptop which uh, which has a 32 gig of memory you can reduce the memory as per your configuration on the physical virtual machines which you are going to create for lab and you can run with the lower memory that is not going to cause an issue an operating system on my physical machine i'm running windows 11 enterprise and i got nvme ssd so i got multiple disks here if, if i show you so, but what I'm going to put my machines, uh, virtual machine in NVMe storage, so I will get the good performance there. So if I click here, this is C drive. If you see here, uh, it's a one gig, uh, one TB uh, NVMe SSD. So this is where I'm going to put my all the virtual machine workload. So in C drive, I have created one folder here, VMware uh, work. VMware, so all the virtual machines I'm going to create here. So this is what I have. And then on the software required, I got VMware workstation already installed. So this is my VMware workstation I already installed. You can see this is running uh, version 17.5. And it's uh, got all the CPU memory, all the other detail here you can see here. So this is good. So this is the hardware information. Uh, uh, which you might need to look before you uh, follow my video. So go ahead, check your uh, configuration, physical machine configuration app, if it's eligible for the VMA workstation or any type two hypervisor, go ahead and install that hypervisor and get these uh, ISO image you can download from Microsoft easily. It's a freely available. You can go ahead and down download the evaluation version and you can use. And this also uh, you can use for some time for free. And then definitely you need to procure a license. So go and get the machine ready, and then I'll follow. So this is my 
uh, environment which I'm going to create in uh, my infrastructure. So very first machine, these are the Hyper-V machines. We are going to create multiple Hyper-V nodes in this playlist, like uh, to test the, uh, you know, normal Hyper-V replications, cluster, then Hyper-V core machine. So we are going to create many servers there, but uh, different, different type of Hyper-V installation uh, to check those things. But um, the basic very first thing which we require a domain controller uh, in our infrastructure. So in this first video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one machine and show you basically uh, uh, how to create a virtual machine and then same follow, same you can follow for the uh, Hyper-V also. So if you see here, uh, on top of this, so first thing I, I want to show you network preference. So I have configured here, if I click on change, you can see here the VMNet3. I'm going to use this VMNet3 in all my virtual machine, which is connected to host only. So whatever machine I'm going to run on my, uh, uh, on this VMware position, those are not going to communicate outside, basically on my internet or on out of my physical network, uh, you know, physical machine, because I don't want to communicate these machines out of network. So so this is one thing which I have done. Rest everything you can do this also, and then you can just follow. And a part of this, what I have done here, if I go to preference, you can see I have checked this to move it to CVMware. So whatever machine is going to be by default created in C drive. And then you have this option, but don't make any changes. This is all good. Just now go ahead and create virtual machine. So I'm going to create a virtual machine, create. And then I'll, I'm selecting these options. So Windows Server 2022, click next. I'm going to call it 20K20 DC01. And I'm going to click next and store in a single file, hard disk, and just finish. So this is very first machine. So what I'm going to do, edit machine, I'm going to change the memory to eight, CPU is fine. And then hard disk is fine. On the CD drive, I'm going to select my 2022 ISO image server ISO image so this is ready and host I'm going to select to uh, VM net host 3 and then USB I'm going to remove sound I'm going to remove this machine is now ready I just go ahead and power on this machine I'm going to show you the basic installation so nothing fancy the same thing you need to, if you want to install a Hyper-V, you need to install a Windows Server operating system, and then you install, need to install the role and features. So I'm going to follow this installation with you guys so you understand how to install operating system. If you have done before, I'm sure you guys have done before, but let's follow it and do the AD installation in this video itself. So you can, if you want to, uh, follow my lab so you are not going to miss this you know video uh, step for setting up the ad so i want to make sure you guys set up ad and then follow the video because this is going to be pre request if you are we are going to create a hyper v cluster right now so you must need a ad so windows have a standard desktop experience click next and then yes click next custom install so it's going to take some time to get the installation done. So I'm going to pause the recording now. Once the server is ready, I'll resume from there. So now the installation is done for this uh, AD server. And we are basically going to promote this machine as Active Directory in DNS server. So going through it, all this series, we are going to use this server. This is one of the critical server in our infrastructure, which we are going to use as a uh, Active Directory Server and DNS. So I'm just going to install this VMware tool. So if you see here, my mouse will not come outside this and the picture is also small size. So once you install this um, uh, VMware uh, tool, it's going to be perfectly work, uh, work perfectly fine. So you need this. So to install VMware tool, just right click here and click on Install VMware Tools and it will mount the DVD drive in your machine and then you can proceed with the installation. So I'm going to rename my C drive as a OS disk. So this is all good. So the installation is running while this installation is running for VMware tools. I'm going to do some basic configuration. So I'm going to rename the machine Win2K20. 
DC01. Okay, and I'm going to click here. Next, next, next on installation. And so VM hostname rename is done. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my IP address of this machine. So I'm going to make it, uh, let's say, okay, now installation is done for uh, this VMware tool. So you can see this screen size is now changed to fit the screen in the, um, my screen size, so this is good. I'm going to just configure the IP address and then reboot this machine. So I'm going to give 192. Okay, it's not working. Let's might be we need to take a reboot. So I'm going to take a reboot and then we'll configure this. And I'll show you also how to do quickly how to do AD installation on this machine and then we'll proceed with the next uh, video where we are actually going to install create a machine with the, for the Hyper-V and we are going to install the Hyper-V role itself. So I'm going to log into this AD server. And then configure the IP address. Here, this is the NIC. So you see, this taken some IP from 10 series. So I'm going to change it to network, which is 192.168. Let's say 1.100. 1 100 to be give to this machine, or you can say let's give 100. So 100 and then gateway. And then DNS is going to be itself. And then I'm going to put my router as a uh, DNS. So this is good. Now we are all set. We rename the machine. And then we configure the IP address. We are all good to go ahead and install the Active Directory. Now to install the Active Directory, you need to click on Manage, Add Role and Features, click Next. And Role Based uh, Installation, click Next. You can see your server name, click Next. And then from here, you need to select Active Directory and Domain Services. And then once it's pop up this thing, you need to just add and rest everything will be default. Just click on Install. And now this will install the Active Directory and DNS role on this machine. And then we are going to do basically promote this server as a domain controller. So this step will only install Active Directory. It will not promote this machine as a, a domain controller. So uh, and DNS server. So there is a separate, uh, altogether separate topic, Active Directory and DNS. So if you want to uh, get more details on Active Directory, DNS, there's a playlist uh, on my channel. You can go and see Windows Server playlist and you can learn how, how to install Active Directory, configure and all those things. So uh, it should not take too much time. So this is the installation succeeded, configuration required. So promote this server as a domain control, which I was talking about. Now this is a brand new infrastructure. There is no AD in my infrastructure. So add a new forest and then I'm going to call my forest labs and on dot land. This is going to be my forest name. We'll check for a few seconds and then it will move to next step. Basically, it's going to check this forest does not exist in your infrastructure and all those things, basic parameters. And then we have forest and for domain function level. So it's latest up to 2016. Microsoft has released new forest level on next gen operating system, which is going to come in uh, 2025, which is going to be latest operating system. But till now, if you see here that this is the latest forest level and domain function level. So set the recovery password for AD. Oops, something wrong, I guess. Yeah, and you need to make sure do uh, domain name system is checked. So it will going to install active uh, DNS role also. So I'm going to take this. And then global catalog by default. This is the first DC, so it's going to be global catalog domain controller. So we all said this is going to ask you path and other details, and then we are done with the installation. 
and post insulation it will take one reboot so i'm going to run this this is where the active directory database log and syswall is going to be stored so i'm good so this is what it's going to do it's going to promote new domain with this name netbios name domain and function level then global catalog this is going to be dns dns create no and here you going to store the file if you want to see the script this is the script basically what uh, the machine is going to run inside the background to run complete the installation so it's a power cell script if you want to export and run on any other machine you can do so click on next we are done now it will take some time and do the pre-request check once we are ready it will give you button uh, basically install button is going to highlight so you, once you click on install it will begin the installation so we are almost there i'm going to change the location to india so it's going to be here so now we are done. Okay, so all pre-request check passed successfully. You can click on install. So it will install the now domain control and DNS role. So it's going to take some time. So while this service is stopped, Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to stop this service. It must be automatic, so I'm going to mark it to manual. So I don't want to see anything red on my dashboard. Microsoft Edge, this is the service automatic, so I'm going to change it to disable. Like, okay. Now, if I refresh this, we'll see this will go away. Now, everything good. We are green. Just waiting for this installation to be finished. And this is also going to promote this awareness the domain control so we will have active directory um, and uh, dns and the uh, group policy management everything there so you will see this active directory tools are all uh, already installed and just promoting the server and you will see here group policy management and dns these are everything in installed now so we are good configuring this server as the DNS server now. So we are done now. We are about to sign out. So this machine is going to take reboot automatically and make sure all the AD services are up. If you see here now, AD services are in stop to stay. So for the reboot, everything is going to come online. So now you can see this is rebooting. So till now we are good. booting now server is rebooted i'm going to just log into this machine and verify active directory is up and ready so if you see now if i type active basically you will see active directory users and computers and you can see the dns also so now this server is promoted as a DNS server. So if you expand here forward to cup, you will see left and so on. This is good. Now you will see one DNS record because this is the only server which exists in this domain as of now. And this is the uh, domain you can see left and so on dot lan. So this is good. We promoted this server as a domain controller and DNS server. And we are ready for next uh, video. So We are going to create these two virtual machine and going to install a Hyper-V role on these servers. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this, you can always post me in my given mail address. Thank you once again. Bye.